Okay, so welcome back to this uh, part two of the Dream Grid install. I've uh, updated my avatar, I've spared you all that detail. I'm now uploading a raw file to the terrain to... Uh, there we go, we have new land. Okay, so today's goal is to uh, set up a VAR region uh, and tomorrow I want to import my inventory and uh, uh, region from DigiWorlds onto this grid as well. To do that I'm just putting in a support ticket now and uh, awaiting their reply. So uh, sit down and grab a coffee and let's get into it. I want to see how easy it is to add another region. So at the moment and it's probably still got... Oh no, there we go, it's showing up my current region. So this is <coughs> this is the shape of the island that I just overlaid. It's sort of... and It's a bit of a simplified version of it, but I'll zoom out and show you that that's pretty accurate. So this is... Whoa, there we go. There's our region. So as you can see, that's... Oh, it takes a while. We are about 500 metres up in the air at the moment with this camera. So that's the actual region. There's the map's rendition of it. So that's pretty close. Okay, uh, so what I want to do way out here... Whoa, not that far, but I want to dump another region offshore. And I might even take it much further offshore, but um, I'd like to be able to see everything on the world map without zooming out too far. Now, I haven't looked at this very much, but I did glance at it earlier. It comes with a, a few different ways of adding things. Um, I'm not sure if it's under setup. <coughs> Pardon me. There we go. Setup regions. Okay, so there's our main region I'm on now. It's just called Welcome. It's the default region. And I, of course, I can change the name of that if I want to. I'm also not sure if I'm allowed to be in world while I'm tinkering with this, so... We'll find out in a minute if I break it. So we're going to add one. Um, we'll pull this down here so I can see it. Uh, name of region. Well, we'll recreate one that I've already got uh, a copy of. And I want to go with the VAR region. So I think it's a 4x4. Four four. We're about to find out. We'll just call it Kiwi. Uh, Oh no, I'll call it Kiwi Islands, because that's what it was called, so there's no complication. Uh, alphanumeric plus, minus signs, yep. Sim size, it 99% sure it was a 4x4. Uh, region specific settings, permissions default, we'll go with defaults. Uh, U-bit open, dynamic, no. Bullet, well... I do want bullet, but we'll just assume that's the default because bullet is the default for open sim. Maps. I'd like something a little bit better. Uh, use default none. Simple but fast. Let's just try this good one. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one I want. What's, oh. oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's really nice, but let's just go with now that's hideous must be the default one now we'll go with good there we go done modules birds i don't know what this birds is i'm able to toad to come in and out that's pretty cool uh teleport disable i'm assuming we can twinkle this later so map coordinates now we might go a little bit further offshore because I don't. So one, two, three, one. I think that's the southwest coordinate. A four by four. I don't want it adjoining this island. I want it offshore completely, and I'll end up removing this island altogether one day. This is just my test island, but let's go. So we're at 12.27 on the X now. This is four regions. 
1231, yeah, I think that's going to be abutting it. 28, 29, yeah, that will. So let's go 1232. Uh, the y-axis is fine. Non-physical prim size, 1024. Physical prim max size, 64. Uh, you cannot make a physical prim bigger than this. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, client prim size, max number of prims, 45,000. Max number of avatars and NPCs, 100. Frame rate, I don't know anything about playing with that stuff, so I won't. Uh, done. Save. Booting, okay, well, it looks like... Oh, I wanted it as part of Eric Kanji's state, but I mean, I, I don't know. I, I guess all this stuff can be done. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's actually, I can do that through DOS for now too. I want to see how easy it is to um, upload an OR file. So I already had a, a region saved in an OR file from a previous grid that I built a few years ago. Well, not built, had, had built for me. Um, the, the Reef VR grid. Let's just see what's happening in the DOS there. It might be recording all those. Oh, Kiwi. Uh, oh, there you go. Region Kiwi is not part of an estate. So you do... Uh, crikeys. Do you want, wish to join Region Kiwi to an existing estate? Yes. It doesn't tell you. Existing estate names are Kanji. Yes. Perfect. Uh, okay. So it's not all terribly intuitive. Um, some of it you just have to... Uh, forcing terrain implementation to height. That's fine. Enabling remote managed. Okay, so it's running. Really? Can I teleport that? We'll give it a shot. We pushed the bloody teleport button. Okay. Holy snap and duck shit, eh? So, teleport from, yeah, I appear to be in the bottom of an ocean, and maybe it is an ocean sim. Oh, yes. Bloody hell, so. Okay, we're on Kiwi, man. Um, okay, well, righto, well, let's really test the shit out of this app. <coughs> Pardon me. We're going to upload a significant OAR file. So, set up, regions, consoles, content. That's the one I want. Load region OAR. Kiwi, yes. Okay. Oh, very nice. I drive master files. Oh, Jesus. Master files gaming. Open sim. Uh, I think I put in landscape. Raw. No, 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 that's right. There's a thing called OAR files. There we go. Kiwi Arms 1508.06. That's the one. Make a backup. No. Um, oh, geez, there's a lot happening now. Loading 2,005, oh, restored 53 parcels. Loading 2,506 scene objects. Uh, holy crap. Okay, things are happening. Still don't appear to have terrain textures for some reason. Oh, God. And this is, this is including my shop, so every script in every shop is about to load. 
god. Oh my god. Holy crap, look at all this stuff. Oh, this will take me. The object lot 27 wants... Oh god, this has got rent boxes on it. Shit. Right. Okay, let's kill the rent boxes. Cool. Oh Jesus, look how many rent boxes I've got. God, it's still got the tenants from the back in the day. <laughs> oh my god, it has. It's kept all the tenants' names. Well, of course it would, because that was hover text. So it hasn't kept them in the as part of the script, but it has kept them as hover text, yep. Okay. That makes sense. Um Geordie Long. Oh, here we go. Here they go. I've got a lot of them, but I missed 18. Allow access. This is tedious. What I am finding interesting is, and, and this is probably because it's running robust instead of, which is, which is, is my, my SQL instead of the, the smaller my SQL light. Um, it's handling all this inventory really well. Uh, whereas in the uh, light version, it everything struggles. And I mean, those scripts are still loading. Look at them going. Okay, I uh, just had a quick nap. 12 hours since I put in my request to DigiWorlds for an, IAR and o, for an IAR and OAR file. Terry's replied here. God, my brain hasn't kicked in yet. Hi, Zay, you can download your files here. Thank you for your support of DigiWorld. Now that, to other grid, to other grid owners, that is service. Okay? DigiWorlds is to anyone looking for a commercial grid to set up home, DigiWorlds. Forget the rest, DigiWorlds. Okay, well, we had a good win there today with uh, getting the Kiwi VAR region set up. Tomorrow, I'll have, uh, I'll have a crack at uploading my inventory file, the IAR file that uh, DigiWorlds... Uh, uh, sent me and also the OAR file from uh, Ovarius uh, which is my region on DigiWorlds and hopefully we will be able to perfectly replicate that on uh, this uh, new dream grid. So yeah that'll be the uh, final installment tomorrow of this series and uh, hope to finish on a high note. Okay chat to you then.